welcome back to my channel today I'll be doing this makeup look inspired by Lady from Lady in the Tramp and it's such a cute Disney movie so romantic with all the spaghetti eating and meatballs because that's what romance is all about Lady's look is so adorable she's got the huge black eyelashes and the big bushy eyebrows so I just had to do a human version of her like how she would look like in real life so if you want to see how I achieved this look keep watching for a lady's big beautiful brown eyes I'm using pearl choco lenses by Oma Kitty for you after moisturizing I'm doing foundation after adding some foundation to your eyes, wait with any powder and instead go in with an eyebrow pencil such as Ilamasqua pencil in Fidelity to draw a new crease as Lady's crease is quite high. What I like with this pencil is that it's got a really creamy texture so it blends out so well. I'll be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and I'm starting with the shade Desert Sand just below my eyebrows. I'm then using Musk as my transition color and applying it just below the lighter shade. Followed by the shade Oud. This is the perfect shade for Lady because it has that red-brown tone like her fur. I'm concentrating the color where my new crease starts and fading it upwards. To define my crease I'm using concealer. Then shade Kashmir to pat over the top. Then I use the Oud shade again below my eyes and up to meet the eyeshadow on the lid. I'm also fading it into the cashmere shade on the side. I want a bit more sparkle on my eyelid so I'm using Inglot pigment in 115 just above the pupil and on the corner of my eyes. Follow with eyeliner, I'm using Inglot black gel eyeliner. To create ladies big dark bushy eyebrows I'm using Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in espresso and a slightly damp Inglot 31 T brush to apply eyebrow hairs with. Lady's eyebrows are actually black, but that can look too harsh in real life. Then MAC eyebrow pencil in stud to fill them in. Apply with brush strokes to keep the appearance of eyebrow hairs. I'm making my eyebrows more rounded like Lady's and drawing them going more down at the sides. I'm brushing my eyebrow hairs upwards to cover as much as possible of the new eyebrow for a more natural look. One of Lady's like main features are her eyelashes. So I got these Huda Beauty Noelle 14 lashes. They are really huge and hopefully they will do the trick. Add mascara to your bottom lashes as well as your own lashes below the fake ones. I almost forgot to contour, but I'm using the Screen Face Face Cream Foundations, kind of medium brown on the corner, and I'm just shaping out my cheekbones, giving myself some cheekbones rather. I'm also contouring to define my jaw and on my temples and forehead and highlighting my cheekbones using Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Alabasta and on the tip of my nose. So I'm, I'm actually making my nose look slightly wider and bigger. I just want to have that dog feel. I mean, even though the noses are black. If I contour the front bit a bit, it just makes it look a bit wider and a bit bigger. Like, like a dog. I'm giving my nose a bit of a butt nose because dogs' noses are quite buttony. I'm using MAC Eyebrow Pencil in Lingering for precision. I'm making it thicker than usual. I'm kind of giving my nose a bit of that dog shape where it's highlighted in the front and then a bit darker underneath and just a wide darker part above the nose just to give your appearance of your nose going boop. I don't have a more descriptive word than boop at the moment. I'm not used to talking to the camera. I just thought I'd try it out because I don't know. Well, the reason why I don't usually talk while I'm doing my makeup is because, like, when I do my makeup, I'm so focused on doing my makeup that I feel like if I talk to the camera at the same time, it will be distracting. But the look is much easier today than usually, so I thought I'd give it a go. 
and if you don't hear this that means that it didn't go well I'm just gonna use some of this Tom Ford citrine highlighter on just give you that soft dewy look without looking too much So I already have some freckles and I deliberately had a very thin layer of foundation over my own freckles but I'm going to draw, draw on some more using the wall face fart, fart. <laughs> that was not very ladylike okay <laughs> the wall face heart <laughs> effects palette and I'm gonna use brown with a bit of white and yeah dot them on my face <laughs> so now I'm taking my thin eyeliner brush and I'm just drawing on freckles I'm kind of concentrating the freckles where I did the contouring because it just adds to it you don't want them all to be completely perfectly round and you want them different sizes different shapes Well, I know that I currently look like I'm going to do a children's play or something, but I'm using a damp beauty blender and I'm just dabbing on top of the freckles just to blend them into the skin. So now that I've blended in these freckles, I'm going to be using MAC eyebrow pencil in lingering uh, and I'm going to draw some more freckles. Now I'm mixing a bit of the brown with a lot of water just to make a really watery mixture that I'm going to flick onto my skin for additional eyebrows. It's always a good idea to test on your hand first just to make sure that it's the color and consistency you want. Spritzing on freckles makes a big difference because doing so will give more randomness as they will come in different sizes and opacity and fill any gaps. So now I'm just doing a very light layer of powder over the top of my freckles ready for the bronzer. Now I'm going to use some bronzer using Bobbi Brown in medium 2. You add bronzer where the sun would usually hit your skin, so on your cheeks, nose and forehead. So to go across the nose, I just simply put some bronzer on the bronzer brush or brush or brush or whatever you're using. And then just fan it by pinching your fingers together and then you go across the nose for a bit more control. If you put too much bronzer on somewhere, you can just use some powder over the top just to tone it down a bit so now I'm going to draw my lips and I'm going to use quite nude colors I'm going to use the NYX in nude suede shoes all over then I'm going to go over with the I have to have it lip pencil by MAC just to darken the edges Now that I've filled in my lips, I'm using the slightly darker color to define the edges. I'm also using MAC Lipstick Honey Love at the center. Then a bit of clear lip gloss for shine. Dogs' mouths are very wet, so why not? And this is the finished look. For the hair, I used a brown lace front wig and two clip-on ponytails on each side which are called New York Girl in color 8 by Tiffany Collection. So that's the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can follow my work on YouTube by pressing the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.